Hey guys, this video is coming a little later than usual for Wednesday and we'll be replacing the video that we had originally scheduled for today. I will be giving a quick introduction to a tool called Spearfisher, which is an educational tool used to demonstrate fishing or spearfishing attacks. Before I go any further, I'd like to remind you that this tool should never be used to attack anyone and is solely for educational use, so please do not hack anyone. So the Spearfisher tool is very, very simple. All you need to do is clone from the GitHub. As you can see here on the right is the GitHub page. The instructions to clone are listed in the readme and you will find a link to the GitHub in uh, the description below. Uh, I already have it down downloaded and uh, installed. So to run, you simply need to type out this command sudo bash dot slash spear dot sh now this tool is essentially um, a shell script and it will run on uh, most uh, Linux based operating systems uh, it will also run in Termux if that is something you like to use. So on launching, if you've not used it before, it will install dependencies um, as required. Uh, I have installed it already and you run it before, so I do not need to install them. Dependencies are here, PHP, wget, curl, and git. Okay, so to use the application, the tool, all you need to do is look at the menu and choose which page you wish to generate. Uh, they're currently split into categories uh, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, we can let's say uh, do Twitch so let's do 031 for Twitch and we will use ng rock as a tunnel for the uh, URL. So that's now going to set up the server and return a URL for us. There we go, so we have two URLs, the HTTP and a HTTPS. Now I'm obviously not going to use this to launch any attack. However, to demonstrate, I am just gonna copy this first URL into a browser and show you what the page will look like. There we go, so we've reached the page and we're presented with, uh, in this example, a Twitch login screen. And you may have noticed that in the terminal, it captured an IP address. So I'm just gonna pop in a fake username and password, and I'm going to click login and you will see what happens next. So obviously the login failed. However, on the left hand side in the terminal, we can see that we've now captured a username and a password. Now both the IP address and the account details will be stored in a file, either IP text or usernames.dat. And that is, as I said, a very quick, very simple overview of Spearfisher. So thank you guys for watching and apologies for the shortness of this video. Uh, we will be back to our normal schedule uh, by next week. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please do drop them in the comments box below. And uh, if you like our comment, please give us a thumbs up. 
Thank you very much.